make shine your light. It's a day and the world is waiting. Move along to the song singing in your soul. Feel the beat, clap your hands, let take control. All you need, all you want, are you ready to fight? Susan Carberry of The Cake Cottage and today I'm going to show you my favorite sugar cookie recipe. So first I've got two cups of unsalted butter in my mixer here and the next thing I'm going to do is pop it on here. I always love to use my KitchenAid. You can still do it if you don't have one. It's just going to be a little more work for you. So let me pop that on and then I'm going to go ahead and, and take my granulated sugar here. So I've got two cups of granulated sugar. Pop that in the mixer. Okay. Off to the side and start it slowly. And we are just going to mix this until it's less fluffy. <laughs> All right, so it's a pretty basic recipe. Um, you can kind of change it up a little bit when we get to the flavorings. Uh, I like to use a lemon extract and a vanilla flavoring, but you can kind of change that. So we're just mixing it a little bit more like at a medium speed. And I get asked um, a lot for the sugar cookie recipe. You know, for you know, my sugar cookie decorating and my custom copper cutters and things like that. So just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. I'll go ahead and put it on a low speed now. And then I'm going to just take two eggs. Pop those in. And then it's flavoring time. As soon as those are blended in a little bit. So I've got my vanilla and lemon extract. And if you don't like lemon extract, um, you can just use vanilla or you can change it up, like I said earlier, and use some other flavors. So I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so my egg's blended. One teaspoon of vanilla, never mix like this over the bowl. <laughs> Gonna pour over the bowl, <laughs> but you know I love my vanilla, so if it spills in there, eh, you know who cares, right? <laughs> so now I'm gonna add my two teaspoons of lemon extract that I poured in here already. Alrighty, go ahead and put that on a little faster. And while that's mixing up, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring over my flour and then my salt and my baking powder. So I've got one teaspoon of salt. Uh, two, uh, three teaspoons of baking powder, and then my flour. So my flour, I've got six cups in here. I may not use it all, but um, it's good to have it all in the bowl together. Sometimes the eggs, you know, if you use large eggs or extra large eggs, that's going to kind of determine how much of the flour you end up using. So that kind of varies just slightly. Okay, so let me just stop this, show you what it looks like scrape down the bowl a little bit and then we can start to add our dry ingredients. Okay, so it looks like that. I just want to make sure that I get any butter that is down there at the base. If it's not mixed in, it looks pretty good. Mmm, mmm, cookie dough. Another reason uh, people like to use this, this sugar cookie recipe that I have is because it doesn't spread a lot. And that's really important when you make your sugar cookies, um, especially if you're going to use the fondant uh, to decorate them with because you use the same cookie cutter as you do to bake them. So you want them to be pretty close in size. So I'll go ahead and pop this on. And you can put your little, if you have one of those little, you know, guards on here. <laughs> I should probably have one. But yeah, nah, it just mess up the place, right? What the heck? <laughs> it's not my place. A little slower. <laughs> First you put on your trash bag just in case it does come flying out at you and then we're gonna go ahead and just gradually okay just gonna gradually mix it in here and then I like to kind of stop for a little bit so you don't get <laughs> all this uh, stuff in your lungs. <laughs> what is that white lung that uh, bakers get? <laughs> all right so a little bit of a mess. I'm not doing too bad, huh? 
That's why I put six cups in there. <laughs> because all that half a cup is out of here. I'm just kidding. All right. Woo! All right, we're rocking and rolling now. Yeah! Oh, this is fun. Fun for all ages. Mmm. Sugar cookies. Yummy. All right, so it's still mixing in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a little bit higher speed. Do, 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 and then I'll slow it down again and continue to add. Okay, I don't wanna put too much in because I don't want it to be, you know, too dry. And when it is finished, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda knead it up a little bit, wrap it up, and then chill it for about an hour before we use it. I have used it right away without chilling it. Uh, sometimes it will spread a tiny bit more that way, but if you're in a pinch, it can be done. It does make a good amount of dough. A lot of sugar cookie recipes make this tiny little itty bitty bit and you have to, you know, double, triple the recipe. Uh, this one makes a good amount. I have um, doubling this recipe is okay. I think I've done it like tripled it or four times and it kind of, it doesn't really work as well. So I only recommend doubling it. your hazmat suit on for this, did you? <laughs> it really is a simple recipe. All right, we're almost there. So I probably have still like about a cup in there. It still looks a little bit sticky, so I'll add a little more. I'm gonna add about half of what's in this bowl. I'll stop it, show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna scrape this down, mix it again, and if it all comes together, then it's good. If it's still a little sticky, then I'll add more. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here this off, scrape it all down, so you can see what it looks like right now at this point. Go ahead and just kind of scrape it down. And I think we're going to go with the, um, pretty much all of that flour this time here. There, back on. Up we go. So it is still, it's not coming completely together. It's still kind of going on the side, so that means we'll go ahead and add the rest of the mixture. Let's <laughs> slow it down. There we go. So I'm just mixing it and it's all coming together now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it, bring it down, and show you what it looks like. And like I said, we'll chill it. And that time we'll get all our cookie cutters and everything ready. And be ready to rock and roll. Okay, mix off a bit. Okay, see how the, the edges are clean there? Okay, so what I'll do is just get a little flour there. So just dump it all out, kind of knead it a little bit, see how clean that came out. All right, just take that extra little bit that was down there at the bottom, pop it on there. 
And I like to actually put it into separate, like at least in half. That way, if I'm not gonna use it all, I don't have to, you know, take it out. And I also don't like to, you know, continuously use one piece. I don't like it to dry out too much. So if you have it at least in two pieces. All right, there you go. So I'll just kind of cut it in half like this. Chill it and I'll meet you back here in an hour. Okay, we're back. It's been about an hour and our cookie dough is ready to go. So what you want to do is get your favorite cookie cutters out. I've got some different styles here. You know what my co favorite cookie cutters are? Do you know? Come here. Let me tell you a secret. Are you ready? No? You're not ready? It's a secret. See this right This right here? Susan Carberry Designs. That's my favorite cookie cutter. All right. So let's go for it. Let's do it. All right. So what we want, we want our cookie sheets here. We've got our dough. We've got a regular rolling pin. We've got a little bit of flour in here. We're not going to use a lot. And a couple of little dowels here. You can play the drums or um, I'll actually show you something else that we're going to do with those. First, I want to take some parchment paper. Go ahead and pop that down and I will open up my cookie dough. So we're not doing the traditional method where we just put some flour on the counter, roll out our dough, and then uh, cut our cut cookies, pop them over onto the tray, and bake them. Okay, because they can kind of tear and get distorted and all sorts when you're moving them around. So what I prefer to do is make the parchment paper as big as the tray. Okay, and I don't like it to actually go up on the sides of the tray or anything. I want it to be perfectly flat. Then I'm just going to take some of the cookie dough. I'll take a little bit of flour here. Not a lot, just a little bit so this doesn't stick. And let me get this out of the way so you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and roll it up that way. And then I like to move all of the parchment paper and then roll back this way. If you are lucky enough to have one of those rolling pins that has the rings on it, especially the wood ones with the wood rings, um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome because you can get your cookie dough all the same height. Um, I'll show you with those dowels a way to do it in a few minutes, but I'm just going to be rolling it out regular way here, just in case you don't even have those at home. All right, so if that happens, don't worry about it. Just move it off to the side. Just means it's getting a little sticky here. Try to get more flour on it. And roll it back on out. Okay. So you want it to be maybe about an eighth of an inch thick. If you're gonna do your cookies on a stick, then I usually go a little bit thicker than that, but not thicker than a quarter of an inch. Okay. All right, so then what you do is you take your cookie cutters, again, your favorite ones, right? Susan Carver Designs. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and cut out your cookies. You don't want to cut out something big, like one of these large ones, with these on the same sheet, because this is going to cut cook much quicker than this, okay? So if you have a bunch of little ones, do those on one cookie sheet, and then the large ones on another one, okay? I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So you can go ahead and cut like that, and then you can move it over. Um, these are all about the same size, so I can get away with doing those together. So I'm leaving a little bit of space. Go ahead and do this one maybe over here. And I don't like how that's going to come out there, so I'll just do those three on this one. Then what you do is you remove the excess dough and you can reuse that. And the good thing about this excess dough now, it doesn't have a lot of flour in it, so it's not gonna dry out and cause cracking and all that good stuff. So, well not that good stuff, actually that's bad. So remove this, sometimes I'll use a spatula if you can't get into the little grooves and things. And then I'll lift this entire piece up, put it on my cookie sheet, and I'm going to bake it in just a regular oven at 350 degrees, okay, which it has preheated and it's ready to go. If you're using a convection oven, then anywhere between 300 and 325. You want to make sure that it's not lower than um, it should be your oven temp. If you have a feeling that your oven's not really calibrated correctly, get one of those really cheap uh, just thermometers, throw it in there. 
uh, because if the oven temperature is actually too low when you bake these, then it, that will make them spread more than they should. So this is ready to go. I'll go ahead and pop it on here. If you are using a convection oven, which again, I'm not today, but what that does is it actually has the air that kind of circulates. So what I would do in that case is I actually take some of my silverware and I put it on the sheets because what happens is this will blow up and it can actually blow up onto your cookie and then you have to redo them. And then what do you do the old ones? You have to eat them and it's just a vicious cycle. So put some silverware or something that can go in the oven on there and then they can go into the oven. So I'll take this, pop them in the oven. How long? Well, it's gonna be determined by the size of the cookie. So anywhere from five to 12 minutes. For the larger cookies, I like them to be a little bit more brown around the edges because I don't want them to be too soft and, and break on me. Now, I did tell you that I was gonna show you how to use the skewers here. So for that, if you want them all to be the perfect size, and these are quarter inch skewers, so that means these would be pretty thick cookies. You can also use um, skewers, well these are actually dowels, but you can use um, thinner dowels to get a different size. So you would just roll your cookie dough out between the dowels like this, and then it can't go any lower than those, so then you have the perfect thickness every time. Okay, and this part I can just cut off. There, or change it that way. All right, so that would be perfect. Then you can go ahead and just cut them like I showed you, and you're ready to go. I usually will just cool them on the cookie sheet. If you have a cookie rack, you can cool them on that, that's fine. If you need to re keep reusing your cookie sheets, you don't have enough, then as soon as they come out of the oven, I'll go ahead and just pull this off onto the counter and then let those cool there and go ahead and reuse the cookie sheet. Okay, so we're gonna let those bake for a few more minutes and we'll pull them out together. So stay with me. Hi, we're back and it's cookie time, people. So let's get all gloved up to safety first. Pop these open. Woo! Smell that sugar cookie deliciousness. All right, so I'll bring these over so you can see them. Nice and golden brown around the edges. I'll just go ahead and pop them over here, not on the plastic, that wouldn't be good. Pop them right over there, uh, too cool. Okay, probably gonna be at least a half hour to an hour to cool, and then I can decorate them. So if you want to learn how to make some super cute sugar cookies, check out some of my tutorials. You can go to my Facebook page and follow me there, or you can find them on thecakecottage.net. So until next time, we'll see you later.